So this is an example of what I've been working on in the last week with ChatGPT and with the, uh, the senior syllabus for business in the QCAA uh, program. So I've been playing around with IA2 and looking at uh, how it would be able to grade uh, a particular work and seeing how close that is to a, uh, a confirmed result. So uh, this is a anonymized um, assignment that was done. Uh, this was a confirmed um, report. So just to go through the process, what I do is I copy and paste the student paper, uh, obviously anonymized, uh, making sure that, that uh, what I'm copying and pasting in is under 2,000 words or 2,500 words. So what I try to do is maybe I, I make a copy of that and I manipulate that. I get rid of all the reference lists uh, and I also get rid of any sort of diagrams and yeah, cover sheets. So it's just the bare minimum. So what I'll do is here's one here. So I'll copy this uh, uh, there and coming back into chat GPT and I'll just paste that in and uh, bring that in there you see there's a few extra returns in there and I'll just put that through so it'll chat GPT will give a bit of a review there's not much there so it's always good to read that um, that's fine uh, now what I'll do is I'll come back to my word document here and what we want to do now is add the following, uh, grade the paper uh, using the following, using the criteria. And I'll just copy that, pop that into our chat GPT, and I'll paste that in. But I'm not going to press enter yet because I'm going to come back here. What I've done is I have played around with just copying and pasting straight from the PDF um, of the ISMGs. Um, I've played around with putting all of the ISMG in there completely, and I found that it was a little bit hit and miss. So what I do now is I will get it to grade one criterion at a time. So I've put this into Word um, just to sort of play around with it. I think it's a little bit better than just copying and pasting straight from the PDF. So I'll paste that in there, and I'll press Enter. Now, so ChatGPT will come back and uh, record this uh, where it actually feels it's uh, sitting. So this was a confirmed result for describing of three. So looking at this, uh, ChatGPT also comes back with a three out of three for, um, for the describing. So um, coming back, let's now grade that paper. Uh, so again... Uh, grade the following paper using the criterion. We'll copy that. We'll now bring this into ChatGPT. I'll press Control V. Don't press Enter. Now we're going to go over to grabbing our explaining criterion. So we'll just grab this here now. Copy of that, and we'll bring that over here to ChatGPT. Paste that in and press Enter. Now sometimes. And it's not happening on this particular situation. ChatGPT forgets the response. So you have to sometimes put the student response in there. So here ChatGPT has come back with a grade of three. Uh, this was a confirmed uh, result of two. So obviously ChatGPT is uh, a little bit um, uh, lenient uh, or looser with the interpretation of the criterion. So just be aware of that. But it's in that sort of, yeah, that area. So let's grade the paper now uh, using the analyzing criterion, uh, these higher order thinking ones. In here, paste in here, and then we'll just grab the analyzing criterion. So this is the big one out of five marks. Uh, this is the one where the the kids, uh, I, I tend to find that they do quite well in this area. So this was a confirmed result for three out of five. So um, now sometimes, yeah, this is another thing. Um, it's saying that it meets the highest standards, yeah. 
that's that's interesting in in some of the other examples so i'm actually doing this live so i haven't done this particular paper so this is interesting because in previous ones i've done uh, i've come up uh, it's come up pretty close to the mark but uh, i had a confirmed result of three here from qcaa uh, it's indicating it's in that range of four to five so it may be at that lower end of four because chat gp does, doesn't know that it could either say four or five um, I might actually, tw I might tweak that. Um, this is just on the fly. Let's change that to four or five. Two or three. Let's try that. Um, so we'll go back up here, grade the paper on the following criterion, and we'll come back in here, and we'll go back. Here, we'll grab that analyzing criterion where we change it there. Let's grab this. Ah, interesting. It's actually going, it's changed it now. Oh, sorry, I grabbed the wrong one. <gasps> How about a oh, this. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, it is. This is the analyzing. So, it gave it a two or a three the second time with an explanation. So, that's interesting. It has actually changed it. So, obviously, this is a work in progress, what I'm doing here. But I think if you're, if A, you're working in a school uh, where you don't have um, another mentor or a peer, so uh, you're the only teacher teaching this subject, this is a way that you can do your grading first, as we've always done it, and then having some sort of confirmation or some sort of uh, approach to it. It's not perfect, and that's. But what I'm actually using it for is for my students to actually improve their student agency for their learning, get them to take it on board, put what they've they've completed and graded according to the various criteria, and it will help them to improve their work. But as I said, yeah, it is a work in progress. Um, let's do our synthesizer because this is another really good um, higher order thinking that we get the students to do. So grade it on the following. So we'll paste that in there and we will come back over here and we'll grab the the synthesizing this is the 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 one criterion i find my students uh, or students all over really uh struggle with making those sort of connections uh and seeing those trends those patterns and those relationships so this here for this student was a confirmed result of two and chat gpt has actually agreed with that so that's that's good from that point of view that's reaffirming um, so let's go with our evaluating criterion so just grabbing grab the paper on the following criterion and we'll paste that in there and we'll just grab the evaluating criterion and we will make a copy of that and we'll paste this in and press enter now this was a confirmed result of three um so hmm so based on proficient use of criteria so oh ah there we go there's another situation where we didn't put four or five so let's go four or five two or three okay so let's do that so let's um Grab our original text. Yep. And we'll paste that in. Let's see this if this changes it having the or in there because I think it like the previous time, I think it will actually change this. So this is really exciting. Um uh, I think um we are as teachers, this is the most exciting time uh in my teaching career, uh, which is, seems to have spanned on for a million years at the moment. But let's have a look. So this was a confirmed result for evaluation of two. And are we going to run into a problem where ChatGPT won't 
We'll have a network error. Just go regenerate response. Okay, what I might do is I might just copy that and paste back in. Okay, so this is what I was saying very early on the video, that sometimes it forgets the response. So in that situation, we go back and we copy the assignment. We paste it back in. Enter. It will give that blurb. I'll just go back up and copy my original stuff there. And we'll go there. As I said, a confirmed result of three for evaluation. Uh, it's uh, interesting. It will. It's still going a lot higher, uh, or not a lot higher. So it is going to the next band above. So that's that is interesting. Um, and I will just do the last one, which is our criterion of uh, communicating, uh, and we'll just paste that in. So grade the following. Using okay, so this was a confirmed of a three, and it's given it a four or five again. It may change if I had okay, so we could see clearly though, um, that chat GPT in some criteria it is a little bit higher so but again using your professional judgment on this but i think this is a an amazing tool not only for teachers um but also for our students and i think this is the big thing this is my big takeaway this is going to enhance student agency because now they can actually put their work in prior put it in and actually get it to grade roughly where it's actually going to be um and i think they can then start to improve and they can actually start to see you know how they can manipulate their text in order to get the best possible results so um thanks for watching um if you've got any you know feedback for me uh, any suggestions or anything like that uh, please put them in the comments uh i'd love to hear it. and if you want to communicate with me uh just you know give me a direct message and uh, we'll go back and forth on that. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope you got something out of it.